Hi guys, this is Maha, your English language teacher and IELTS trainer, and welcome to my live stream here on the English Show Canada Facebook page and the English Show Canada YouTube channel. As usual, I'm here looking for people who would be interested in, um, or who are interested in fact, in um, improving their speaking skills. And if they want to have a quick conversation with me, then you can basically let me know. I will post the, um, the StreamYard application address that you can just click on and be a part of this uh, live stream. Hi Ali, nice to see you here. I'm also having my cold coffee because it's like really hot outside <laughs> and um, I need my cold coffee. I'm not a big fan of cold coffee, but I think it's the ice that I like in it. So um, cheers. So great, good to see people coming here and joining me for this uh, live stream. And uh, walaikum salam everybody. Hey Sambul, how are you? Um, Abdullah Hat says, I am from Pakistan here, Peshawar. That's great. I love Peshawar. I've been to Peshawar um, once. This is my cat, Sky. Sky, say hi. That rhymes, Sky, say hi. So the cat's, of course, going to be in the video as well because he wants to be a part of this whole, you know, I want to be famous on social media. So please um, <coughs> excuse him every time he comes in. He's just looking for some love right now. So... Okay, you want to sit here? Do you want to sit here? Okay, it's a funny cat that I have. Symbol, sky is big now. And so is Nova. Nova is like huge. So if there's anybody who's interested in having a live conversation with me and with Sky, then please let me know. I'm actually going to be... Sky, you're being silly. Okay, Sky copying to clipboard and I'll be putting the um, let's see if I can if I'm able to yes he is a beautiful cat it's a Bombay that I have he's pretty adorable I have uh, just posted the link for StreamYard, so if you want to be a part of this conversation with me and with Sky, Sky is just giving me the look. He looks really angry right now. I'm very upset. So if you want to be a part of this live conversation stream, then all you have to do is copy this address in your browsers and um, and join in. All right, Abdul Ahad is here. Hi, Abdullah. How are you? I am fine. How are you? I am good. I'm good. Sorry, I have a visitor today and he really wants to be in the camera right now. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. How is the weather in Peshawar? Today in Peshawar, weather is so good. But in mostly they have summer season, so now our day weather is so bad. Okay, so did it rain already or no? No, today is not rain. It hasn't rained. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's um, the weather over here is pretty hot as well. Um, we had temperatures going up to like 32 degrees the last couple of um, weeks. And yesterday it started to cool down and, you know, it was raining a lot. So the weather here is better. Now, in here also so bad weather, but uh, in uh, in past two days, rain so weather is good but now today is so hot it's hot okay and there's there's no uh rain in the forecast they haven't said it's gonna rain now in the last two days they have no rain okay okay so how's work how's life what's new now i am in uh, quarantine i read uh, books and uh, watch uh, tv and also I watch TV programs on uh, American podcast. I can learn it. Okay, which podcast are you listening to? I listen mostly the Ellen show. Very good, very good. Are you liking the Ellen show? I like it. Yeah? What have you learned from the Ellen show? I can uh, learn the when they uh, participate, speak, 
the flow of way how they can take and when they uh, speak so they can not broken down the sentence they can speak with flow so i can observe it and i can practice with the myself with mirror so little bit i can improve myself okay so abdul ahad meet adil adil meet abdul ahad yeah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam i'm going to go behind okay and you guys can have a quick conversation hello assalamu alaikum myself abdul ahad i am from peshawar i am the student of fa now still i can learn english okay uh, my name is adil i am from salkot uh, i am doing private job so uh, this is my small uh, this is my small introduction to you when nice now what when nice to see you here now what's current scenario about your job it's still lockdown so how you can your job is go to or not well uh, you know in past the uh, situation was quite worse but with the passage of time the uh, situation uh, situation getting good so we are doing job in this uh, scenario so things getting better with the passage of time so uh, so we, we all know that bad things are part of life so we cannot you know escape ourselves with bad situations we have to go through ourselves with uh our self from tough times so part of life where are so you from is, i'm from sialkot you know from sialkot yeah i uh, in sialkot yeah i know i uh, do you know in sialkot they have famous vlogger zainul abidin zainul abidin uh and sorry sorry in sialkot there is a famous vlogger that's name is zainul abidin and also brother they have uh, in youtube so famous no i know i know i have no idea about it yeah it's so famous no, I, i don't that's know why, that's why i know about sial coat uh, it's so beautiful especially its village it's so beautiful uh actually sial coat is the city of exporters uh, you know yeah. number of manufacturers over here of football you know surgical instruments uh, sports items yeah, I, all the things Uh, manufacture over here in sialkot the good playing a very wider role in order to you know boost economy of pakistan by yeah, uh, through i know the biggest sport industry from sialkot many things are futuring and in future maybe they have economic hub of pakistan in second from first from karachi i think second from sialkot yeah yes yeah. uh, okay okay uh, i'm very one thing i want to i want to say you you have you uh, you know you are student and a, a, a of fa but your english is very good i'm bit i am i'm very uh, you know impressed from you you are improving your english uh, you know is is quite better no i am not uh, i am still learning um, i have uh, a lot of mistake when i speak someone so i have no idea where i use i we they it is the biggest problem so i can try i can but identify my mistake but the level of confidence you have is quite impressive i am very much impressed from you as you you have much you know uh, 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 confidence while speaking english this thing quite matter while speaking english yeah when basically any any language they have require environment for in basically when we have pakistan so we have mixture uh, like uh, in school we have speak urdu when we go to home we can uh, uh, speak your uh, mother language like from you are uh, from sial so you speak with the, your language i am from uh, peshawar so i speak from pashto so basically any language they can require environment if they have environment so we can learn easily another person is there so sir, sir hello how are you hello how are I'm you i'm fine i'm fine i'm good how are you we are quite good brother what's your name brother uh my name is hasan i am also from peshawar na uh, good in peshawar where are uh, you from in peshawar you motivated me to come live on this uh, you you people me to say i will draw myself from this you know beautiful talking so i will draw myself so two, two people from peshawar may talk with each other okay okay Brother, you no, can. It's okay. You can talk if you want. 
Okay, hi guys. Um, Aweem Aslam, if you want to see this live stream, you'll have to turn on the lights. It's too dark at your end, please. Um, we would like to see your face as well when you're doing the live session. So if you can turn on the lights and then I'll bring you back on again, okay? okay. All right, so guys, thank you so much for joining here. Of course, Adil has been joining these live sessions for quite some time. Um, Abdul Ahad, um, this is I think the second time you're joining this live stream and Hassan Nasser, I don't think I've ever seen you before. So my name no, is- No, this Ahad. is my first time, yeah. It's your first time. Welcome to the yeah. live stream. Uh, let's have a conversation. So tell us about yourself. Introduce thank yourself, you. please. Okay, so as I told, uh, my name is Hassan. I live in Peshawar. Uh, I just recently uh, completed my bachelor's in commerce. And now, lately I lost my job because of COVID. Hello. I was uh, working in a hotel as a front office manager. Hello, guys. Yeah. Can you hear me? That's all I get. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, Avi Maslam, thank you for joining and thank you for turning on your light. <laughs> tell us about yourself. Can you hear us, Avi? Avi Maslam, can you hear me? <clears throat> okay, we have internet issues. Hi, Omer, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Please introduce yourself. Can you hear me, um, Omer? <coughs> okay, so a lot of internet issues going on right now. Um, Omer, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Great, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, myself, Omer Sheed from uh, Pakistan, Leia, and I am a freelancer doing uh, freelancing from Past One Air, and uh, my uh, qualification is uh, Master's in IT. Anything else? Uh, you guys want to ask what's your qualification masters in it information technology M masters in it very good and uh what city are you based in uh, Leia, Pakistan, Punjab, uh, Punjab. i mean sorry Janubi Punjab. where is uh, that is it north south west or east or central. Who knows Janubi Punjab? Adil? That is the center of Pakistan. So central Punjab? <coughs> is that what it I is? Mean, OK. Sorry, Umair, the connection at your end is not very clear. We seem to be breaking off every couple of seconds. Omer? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll have to remove Omer from this only because the connection isn't very clear. Great. Okay, so we have over here with us Abdul Ahad, we have Adil, and we have Hassan Nasser. Great. What do you want to talk about today? Uh, can I say something, ma'am? Sure, go ahead. Oh, so um, I was watching your, uh, so actually I was watching Wakar Zaka show. From there I saw you and you introduced yourself that you trying to teach English. So I subscribed to your YouTube channel and I want you to appreciate you. The work you're doing is fabulous. And uh, I don't know why uh, I saw like um, the viewers are not that much. I think it's a free platform and anyone can take advantage of it. I don't know why people are not, uh, you know, taking advantage of it in this these free times. I think we can utilize our time by learning something and it's also free. You're not charging anything. So yes, exactly. I wanted to. So if you have family, friends, please ask them to subscribe. And this is yeah, what sure, I'm sure, doing. I will, I will, I will definitely. Yeah, I've been telling people, I'm like, you know, I like to come here. I want to come here more often, but then I have to work yeah. as well. But if I have a lot of people, you know, following me on YouTube and subscribing to yeah. it, then I can stay here longer and longer and longer. You know, I can just be here for like two or three hours uh, a day and not charge anybody anything. Yeah, you know? that's that's not. Yes, exactly. thank you so much. Hi, Hussein, how are you? Alhamdulillah, ma'am, how about you? 
I'm very good. Thank you very much. How's uh, how's <coughs> life? Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's going fine as in previous. And as you were talking about your uh, pro bono work, yeah, <laughs> uh, about this, you know, uh, at last time I joined Cambly app, and they were charging me about twenty five dollars. So the <laughs> basic purpose was to talk with native speakers and escalate our skills and conversation. So I was trying to uh, got privilege from uh, you know free. so i think your conversation and this panel it's very good and it's for free and as uh, we could find same environment as we find in cambly app so it's very privileged for us thank you i'm honored thank you very much um My pleasure. Osman, how are you i'm good how are you how are you have the how is everybody doing fine hear me clearly yes of course we hear you okay so it's raining here in lahore but the weather is hot it's warm and um, yes. where is everybody from everybody it's raining uh, and the weather is hot yeah isn't it's it humid. strange it's humid. very very humid okay humid weather yeah yeah of so one this guy from in the blue blue dress is from peshawar i think and the, the rest the one above me where are you from brother uh me from rahimia khan south punjab okay rahimia khan okay nice yeah and uh, the guy with the headphones assalam alaikum how are you brother what's up uh, i'm fine and you alhamdulillah i'm fine where are you from i'm from leya south punjab leya okay that's nice and the sixth person uh, right here this guy this this brother i'm from peshawar i live in islamabad acha mashallah so islamabad uh, the weather is good i i believe it's raining uh, is it raining or is it windy there how's the weather in islamabad hello yes how is the weather in islamabad i think he can't hear us can hasan can you hear me Am I hearable? Can can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm hearing you. I, I think his um, net problem was that's why he left our panel. Maha, I see now you can have more than six people in Streamyard. I, I guess yeah. it wasn't the case before. It's yeah, we can take up to ten people, I think, from what I know. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Before I think yes, it was yes. six, right? Maximum six. Yes. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, so, so I picked up a word um that Usman you said. Um you asked um it was Hassan uh, Hassan right who just um signed off when he couldn't hear us. You said am I um am I hearable? Right? Mm -hmm. So hearable is not appropriate. No. Audible? Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Am I audible? Yes. Um, we say, Info. "Am I audible?" That's what you need to ask instead of saying, "Am I hearable?" Um, right. With the way English is going these days, I'm sure "hearable" is also a word, but it's something that we don't. <laughs> <use>. Of <laughs> yeah. course, it's, it's a not lot a, of vocabulary that yeah. has been kind of like invented and added exactly. to the dictionaries. Okay. Exactly. So, what I would like you all to do now is talk about the weather. um adil can i request you to keep a timer on uh you will be the um the watch keeper so just make sure that nobody uh exceeds a minute and you're going to talk about the weather it could be the weather in your city it could be the weather in general it could be the type of weather you like or the type of weather you do not like okay so keep okay. those four things in mind um the weather in your city what kind of weather you like what kind of a weather you don't like and what's the current weather going on right now okay we will start with uh, abdul ahad abdul ahad i'm going to give you the full screen and i'm going to put people um in the no i'm not going to put people back there you can just stay here so abdul ahad you have 1 minute to talk about the weather yeah now in pitawar the weather is not very well because they have very uh, now they have see, uh, summer season so 
the weather is not good and i don't like summer season because they have a lot of sweating and uh, uh, like in night time they have a lot mosquito and we have uh, uh, we cannot like when they uh, choose our um, blood so that's why i don't like uh, summer season but i like winter season because i can enjoy i can eat more and more and uh, we have go to travel north north places and like uh, i like mostly north places like in pakistan i like sawat mari kalam batagram mansera that place i like and also that's weather is so fabulous that's why i like uh, um, winter season so that is my good so what do the mosquitoes do mosquito uh, it's so bad when they night time they come to they disturb the sleep who can help him he said i don't like it when the mosquito took my blood <laughs> what's yeah, the point yeah in night time when we have sleeping so mosquito attack with the, and we have disturb our sleeping how do they take your blood are you selling it in a shop no no what do they do what's the action the mosquitoes do to take the blood from you what what is the name of the action they the mosquitoes do to take your blood they don't choose it choose is in in urdu so think about it think what could it be in english i don't know i'm sure it's a word you know because your english is pretty good when mosquito they can take so they who wants to help him um hussain bite they bite you but do they bite your blood uh actually sucks. they bite us they yes, suck your blood right we... yes thank you umair and thank you usman they suck your blood very good they don't bite they if they bite you that means they're not going to take anything from your body except blood flesh uh, for yes. flesh okay so yes. they suck your blood very good i also have here uh fatma hi fatma how are you assalamu alaikum everyone wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam where are you from fatma i am from pakistan karachi mm -hmm. have you been here before no okay first time well, welcome to in your show canada the live conversation um that we're having right now okay adil uh your turn to speak about the weather okay hello as far as my service concern i like you know rainy weather uh, i will i would like to tell you uh, heavy raining over here, heavy raining over here in sialkot i like uh, winter season but i don't like summer season because it's it is quite difficult for me to survive during summer season because i don't have you know my personal vehicles i have a motorbike so it it it, it is bit difficult for me to drive through in in summer season so i i love winter season because you know you look good during winter season but in summer season you know wet on your body and you cannot maintain yourself and you cannot maintain your body well during summer season so uh, on the other side i also like you know raining rainy season but now here in sialkot heavy raining over here so this is all about me great thank you so much other that was good um next one hussein are you ready to talk about uh, yes ma'am uh, of course of course sorry i'm uh, just as people uh as a general consensus most of the people don't like summer season i do not like uh summer season but i 
uh, I like most of all of the seasons, but uh, winter season almost. As I live in Rahimia Khan, so it's a deserty area. It means after 18 kilometer from, right from my home, this is all desert, and this is called Rohi or Rajasthan desert. So uh, this is all uh, you know in summer season right now. There is uh, you could say uh, 48, 49 Celsius in day, and uh, in evening. there always uh, 20 28 just like uh, temperature so but uh, there is you know every uh, summer season also a blessing in disguise you could say because uh, it due to summer season sorry owing to summer season uh, we uh, face a phenomena of sweating okay so medically is saying that uh, sweating is beneficial for us because when sweat comes out from our body we perspire it so it's a lot of diseases could uh, and a lots of you know the hormonal balance and minerals balance occur because i'm student of biochemistry so our teachers taught us that sweating is beneficial for us so summer season is also beneficial for us in fact we don't like it but it's a blessing in disguise on other hand if we talk about the summer season the so summer season are also important for us just for our body maintenance if we talk about the economic and agricultural views so summer season you could say that ripening of fruits and uh, you could say the ripening of our fields uh, just like wheat and uh, uh, other fields are also due to the summer season so i should say the four season summer and winter and all these years are also important for us thanks That was very good. Thank you very much. We went into a detailed discussion. All right, next one, Omer, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great, Omer. It's you now. Talk about your favorite weather, or just weather in general. Okay. Okay. In Pakistan, we have four weather: spring, summer, winter, and autumn. Uh, and I like most uh, the spring season because of uh, many things. Uh, from flowers are growing, and many other. things like that and all of most of the pakistan people like uh, spring season but uh, some uh, of the guys are telling us uh, that uh, they don't like uh, summer season so this is right due to over heat or uh, 40 to 50 centigrade in these areas as i am living in the south punjab there is uh, the areas of bakhal layya and multan the hottest city of pakistan so there is also weather of uh, 40 to 50 plus so we we it is difficult to survive in this type of weather uh, in this type of temperature so this type of if uh, the temperature this is a silly thing if a temperature is uh, almost in uh, summer 30 to 40 uh, um, maybe more people like uh, summer season due to many other things uh, we can do in summer because uh, in summer we can uh, do many things uh, as a, as one thing my brother said that sweating is a good but in the 40 to 50 centigrade the it is not sweating it is over sweating i think so great thank you so much um can i now have fatma um speak about uh, the weather weather thank you so much maira give me the chance to uh, about the weather and uh, which weather is my favorite weather the uh, rainy weather is my favorite weather and nowadays in karachi the monsoon is going on so before for a while i am on terrace and i'm enjoying the weather and rain as well uh, the last speaker said that pakistan has the four season but as far as my knowledge is concerned pakistan have the five season summer winter autumn spring and one more season the monsoon season during the monsoon season the all uh, the rain is going on all over uh, all over the country and uh, um and rain is a blessing of allah and almost mostly people like rain uh, but unfortunately uh, the electricity problem we are facing in pakistan a lot the care electric is not uh, fulfill the not able to solve the problem so uh, if the electricity is not available during the rain so the people are suffering 
and it become not blessing but it become the curse like and i also like the snowfall weather but i never i never uh, have experience to do uh, because uh, in karachi there is no snow when i visit to the naran before uh, i think so get two years so i visit to the china border so i have experience to see the mountain with covered with the full snow and i'm sliding on the snow but unfortunately i also i, I um, have experience for the long time period the snow is falling but bilkul uh, kya kehna chahiye with the short time period not the fully snowing so i don't have experience but i want to have this experience as well and actually i am speaking english a couple of week uh, i'm not practice nowadays because i'm totally cut off from the social media i am not chit chat with my foreign friends so that's why i am hanging during my conversation i don't know you are getting me or not but i am just trying to my level best to express my feeling regarding to the weather hopefully it's fine that was good it was good any try is a good try that's how i look at it right and again this is not your first language it is your second language or third language and it requires a lot of practice and if you don't practice it every day then you'll forget it eventually right so you might not forget it in that sense but you might become a little less fluent in that language so it's completely okay so my favorite weather is anything or any weather that has a lot of storm in it so i love storms so if it's a snowstorm or a rainstorm i really enjoy that i do not like heat at all i am not a big fan of the summer um especially if the temperatures are going above 30 degrees so currently in canada where i live the temperatures have been above 30 degrees for the last two weeks and it's been extremely hot so i am not enjoying the weather conditions um here at all fortunately yesterday it started to cool down a bit so we had a very 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 terrible um thunderstorm it was so bad that when i was driving there was zero visibility i felt somebody threw a huge wave at my car and i could not see anything at all of course i didn't panic i enjoyed and i continued driving in the rain but again uh like i said anything that involves a storm that's my favorite type of weather did okay. you ever experienced a uh, desert storm yes i used to live in dubai and i was always going to the desert so i've seen the desert storms as well i don't like those ones because it the sand gets into your eyes so you have to wear special goggles um to avoid the sand getting into your eyes and i wear contact lenses also so the sand is not good for my eyes and i end up having an infection and things like that um but yeah if it's stormy i like it i don't like regular weather conditions so if there's no wind no rain and it's just like just the sun i'm not a big fan at all so great thank you so much you guys did a great job are there any questions you would like to ask me ma'am what is difference between climate and weather and season we so, often use these three words season and next weather and climate okay i have a little bit idea about climate but uh, if you could explain i'm just going to type it up here as well so if you are i'm going to give you sentences okay so instead of giving okay. you definitions i rather give it to you in the context and you'll be able to understand better okay. there are okay. four seasons in a year okay all right spring summer autumn and yes autumn and winter. 
So season means something that changes. Okay. It stays for a quarter of a year and it changes normally, right? There are some okay. countries where you only have two seasons. Okay. You're supposed to have four. For instance, you go to the Middle East, you only have summer or you have a little bit of winter. There is no autumn, there is no spring. It's okay. either very hot or very cold, right? If you come to well, Canada, you will see the four seasons. You've got the spring, summer, spring, summer, 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 and winter, and you see the nature changing as well, right? So yes, that's what the season yes. is. Now, weather. The weather conditions are usually based upon what's happening in the environment. Okay. okay. So okay. it's more it's it's more temporary than season. So season is a little longer lasting. A weather could change on a regular basis. Yes, Fatma, go ahead. I yeah. think it's so okay. The weather is the condition of the day. Can, uh, the season is a long time period. We use, use the season. And when we talk about the weather, it means that the, um, in the morning, the weather is cool. Maybe the weather will be cool. In evening, the weather will be cool. But in afternoon, the weather will be uh, can be hot. So it yes. is a sh short time period of the condition. So that we are using the weather. So usually Perfect. we are asking about uh, about uh, in a school with the kids, okay, how is the weather today? So in morning usually, we say that cloudy can be cloudy, whatever you can tell the kids. So many people are... No Urdu at all. No Urdu at all. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. So I think that this is the difference between the season and the weather. Yes. And the climate is basically, again, um, the general, I would say, atmosphere of a region. So it's more regional. Okay, so if you're in the Middle East, um, over there, it's usually very hot. So it's a very dry and hot uh, climate. Yes, All right. So you can link climate with the word atmosphere. Okay. What you feel in I'm the air for a longer period of time. Ma'am, climate is dynamic or static? I mean, climate could change or it's a static? Um, it could change, definitely. Again, it is dependent on your um, environmental factors. Okay. Okay. So, for instance, the climate of Canada is changing because now we're having harsher winters and harsher summers. Yeah. So it, again, like I said, it's very dependent or it's very much linked with the word atmosphere and the atmosphere, the, the reason why it changes, there's a lot of environmental factors. So you've got the yeah. ozone like, air, like pollution. Like global warming. Yes, exactly. So it could be, um, the climate could be linked with that. Your seasons are not going to link with anything. They're not going to be linked with anything. Those are just four typical seasons that the nature takes its course. So, for instance, you know, if a baby is born, a baby is going to be a toddler. That's going to be a child, and then a teenager, and an adult, and then old man and die. Right? So yes. you can't change that. Yes, of course. Some people might be fifteen, but they look like twenty-five. It's okay. That's them. Yes. And that's how the seasons are also in different parts of the world. Yes, of course. Okay. So you have to be careful. You can't say, oh, it's a hot climate today. You can't say that. You can't say hot it's weather. a hot climate today. Hot weather. That's yes, why you course. have a weather forecast. So when you want to see the temperatures, you look at the weather forecast of how the weather is going to be the next day. Yes. Is that clear? Affirmative. Yes. Perfect. Any other questions? My no question. Yes, go ahead. My question is that when we have read something, so we have uh, the present moment, we can remember it. But we have, when we have uh, talked to other ones, so we have forget it. So how we can increase vocabulary? They have a lot of word we can speak with the present moment, but when we speak someone, so we have forget it. So how we can increase? Vocabulary. 
to um okay you cannot increase your vocabulary but you can definitely enhance your vocabulary not increase it you can enhance it that's the right word to use okay now to be able to remember new words the only thing you need is a lot of practice so every time you come across a new word it's a very good idea to write it down somewhere in a book and then practice it every day so you need to start making something called the vocabulary bank you need to make a vocabulary bank that means not a real bank with money in it but bank is an bank is um is a place or you know it could be imaginary that where you keep adding things to it okay so when you make a vocabulary bank you can do it on your phone you can make little cards you can you can even send messages to yourself with the words that you have learned and try to use them every single morning every single afternoon every single night um in different sentences in different contexts the more you use it the easier it will be for you to use those words on a regular basis but if you look at a word once and think you're going to remember it it's not going to happen ma'am one thing i want to ma'am one thing i want to interpolate that whenever you see a word okay so look at the word background it's called a family just like i see a word decision okay mm -hmm. so what the other, other words could make with decisions like decisive and what is the meaning of decisive a person who is clear in his decision okay so if i put indecisive mean a person who can't do its adjective okay so what could other words i can make from decisive decisive opinion decisive shopping indecisive opinion indecisive shopping so i would recommend all of you that if you look at a word you write them but you have to google the family of that word that what other words could made from them just like fallible and i example i gave example of uh, decision so i could say i escalated my vocabulary in that sense uh, it took me a long time because as our in previous conversation i told you that uh, i used to watch seasons and my movies in english language so i used to watch with subtitles and from that subtitles i you know google them and i have a merriam webster dictionary so uh, the basic purpose of my telling that uh, that if you have a new word so kindly search his history and your previous ones too so it would be just like for decision a word decision i have four to five words of that family so it will be beneficial to enhance our vocabulary mm -hmm. very good so you have to look at the word forms you yes, have to of find course. the root root word um for instance if you have the word like you said um i'm going to say the word and see how i say it um uh hasan and then i would like you to repeat the word after me the word okay, is the word is decision decision no. uh, how much syllable is in this Deci word decision De decision okay no it's not jan it's yan decision yan decision but the yan is softer it's it's not a very okay. hard word. okay decision decision how to so, decision decision schwa sound let little bit yes but a harder one so there is more of a j in it than a ya decision okay, okay. decision okay okay what you are saying is decision yes decision it's not decision it's decision jan decision decision okay we have decision. to put little bit stress on third okay. syllable is it yes again it's not decision it's decision deci 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 jan decision 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 okay jan not ya yan okay repeat what is, what is the word what is the word life in urdu uh zindagi no another word haya rairas another word rairas no life small word life yeah ma'am life yes life a life 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 um 
zindagi not hayat not that it what is it should be one of the months of the year the first month of the year the first three letters jan jan yes you see jan the first sound you're hearing jan 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 you can say jan or you can say john whichever in urdu when you say it's john is that correct yes yeah. the same sound john yes decision i got it i got it i got it okay decision decision okay okay i'm still What hearing an e. i'm still hearing an e i don't want to hear that e decision okay. decision 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 no dc there is no dc decision this thing this say this say this say no no dc this say this say this yeah decision okay this is again ah again you said this there's no this it this so okay. you need to practice that okay I'll, i'll 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 try it i'll try it and uh, i'll again record it and then yes figure it out yeah so don't say this say say this say okay okay like you say yeah. cycle not cycle Cycle. cycle 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 this cycle okay 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 so that that's the correct word so again okay. looking at word forms it's very important so finding you know going to the dictionary everything is on google finding words um uh, so getting a word figuring out if it's a noun if it's an adjective if it's a verb if it's an adverb um making those um uh, make a small table you know of that and then also find word families how else can you use that word right yes so for instance the word straw right straw, straw. straw. it's a noun it's uh, yes right? it's a noun straw is a But noun I okay it, i can use it as a verb as well to suck or something so, else kind of it's something else Okay. So, um, you know a straw hat? Straw hat. No. Nope. I didn't you know. Hear. Was, you know what's um, you know hay? No. Nope. H A Y. Hay? I think it's uh X or something else. Uh When you so, go I, I got I got I got it. I got it. Gas, gas. Yes. I don't Very have uh yes I, I know it it's uh yeah. but I don't know the synonym of the food of, of the is it is the food of the horse hay. Very good. Hey. Very good. So yes. when you have a straw hat there's a lot of weaving they do. So they put a straw like this and like this and like that, right? Yeah, yes, of so course. To use it as a verb, I can say if someone thinks what are you doing, I can say I'm strawing a hat. I'm strawing a hat. That means hat. I'm making okay. a hat. Hat. Like okay. I'm making a straw hat. So you can just say, "Oh, I'm just strawing." You can use that as a verb okay. form too. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, give so, okay. an other example of strawing. That's the only one I can think of right now. But okay. straw That's... strawing means to basically uh, making. your like a weaving pattern one over the other hierarchy no that is going up so criss cross okay. criss cross criss cross criss cross right? okay yes okay again That's... yes again if you go up to your even dictionaries you know you'll find that word um it's not a most commonly word uh commonly used word but yes it does exist where it means you're doing an action so you can change your noun to action words also yeah so when i course. say it's a straw hat straw becomes an adjective because i'm describing yes. the type of the hat it is so yes, it could course. be the same word but in used in different contexts yes of course and that what you need to work on right and then again obviously i can have a i can have a strawberry I can have uh what else can I have with the word straw? What other words can I make with straw? 
I don't think I can make many words with straw. Except strawberry. Right? Hi, Wasif, how are you? Hi, Wasif, how are you? Can you guys hear me? Is is the video okay? Yes, or is it okay? Okay, okay, great. Hi, Wasif, are you there? Okay, he's frozen as well. So there's a lot of internet connectivity issues. Are there any questions you want to ask me? No. Yes, yes ma'am, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. How to increase the reaction time? I mean, uh, in a fight or in a something like that discussion, and uh, we forget the answer. And after that, sometimes we, I think, oh, oh, I has the answer, and I have to give the answer. But after uh, the fight or after discussion, we um, answer is come to our mind. But at the moment, we don't uh, remember the answer. Maybe okay. you ever experienced that. So if you're having a fight with somebody, or if you're having an argument with somebody, most of the time we're very angry at that point, right? Yes. Yeah. So we want to give them an answer right away. The best practice to remember or to be very, um, I would say vigilant to respond perfectly is not to speak very quickly. So when it's time for you to respond, think one, two, three, or five count five times think about all the thoughts put them together and then say it so yes. think before you speak a lot of people will be like okay no we are having a fight we need to just keep talking keep talking keep talking no it doesn't work because then you're gonna go back home and say oh i should have said this i should have said that no so it's always better think for five minutes let the person in front of you think oh, okay what is he thinking what's happening next give yourself yes. a pause and think of different scenarios and um it's not good to fight but we always get into arguments with people again think before you speak and also when you're speaking think what the answer is going to be and think of your response before you even say it so you know do you guys play chess have you played chess no okay. i wish i could but i didn't Star, it's, it's a very good game because what happens exactly. with chess is, yes mm -hmm. what happens with chess is that when you're playing chess you are actually thinking of the moves of the person in front of you like three possible moves they will make in the next 30 minutes yes and that's how you yes. make your moves strategy strategy making strategy 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 no che strat Stretch. Strategy. No stretch. Strategy. Strat. Strat. Strategy. Stretch. Stretch. No, no ch. There is no ch. Okay. So say stra. 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 Ch. Ch. T no, no ch. T. T for Toby. T for T. T for um, Timbuktu. T. Stra. Ch. Stra. Stretch. Yeah. But the ta is very hard right now. There is a ha sound. There should be no ha okay. sound. Strategy. Strategy. G. Strategy. Okay. Very good. So listen to it okay. over and over again and you will get the word. Okay. Okay. So I was so talking about true. bluffing. So bluffing. I often uh, bluffing. I uh, bluffing. Uh, I don't know the appropriate word in our Punjabi language. We uh, used to say it, uh, bhabi. In it's a uh, game of uh, cards. So right. there's always, uh, you know, uh, when a person think about the stretch D. Uh, so uh, he, uh, yeah, I, I used to it. I'll get used to it after practice. So, uh, a person know the by gaming we know the strategy. Uh, how could we figure out it? So uh, other person cards. Uh, most of them, my friends used to. They are much proficient to read other person card, and they may tell me that 
he person has whose card and whose number even colors they told me because there are uh, 52 cards and we could figure out it easily if we know some little bit rules of mathematics and factorials so we could do it yes so no 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 if you are excuse me i want yes, to say yes, something go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yes. If you are talking um, about the uh, playing cards, playing cards, uh, should I say? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay. If you are talking about the playing cards, so we use this word, buff, uh, sorry, I forgot it. Bluffing. What bluffing. Do you use? Bluffing. Uh, bluffing. So it's totally about the face reading. So you focus the other partner of the face so you can judge okay, which card. Uh, up, you can judge his face expression so they and then you can be smartly play this game and you can actually win or, like, you know act, you know we know that there are 54 cards 52 cards okay and if four person are playing yeah, and okay. we know that each each queen a spike and diamond have 13 13 <laughs> cards okay so in one turn okay. if we know that it's it was the turn of uh, you could say diamond so we know the mm -hmm. four cards are withdraw from uh, the residue okay and i have three cards of That's diamond right. so i could figure out that other person have how much cards so that turns telling me that uh, the how much card of diamond is pending I mean they are not mm -hmm. uh, withdrawn so we could use bluffing in that sense that yes other person uh, i think four uh, four turns are passed so it means ultimately that our 13 cards are withdraw or uh, uh, maybe it one be pending in other person so this is bluffing this is a technique how to figure out the thing and little bit influence of face expression you could read other person face but it's not much i could say uh, effective technique no, I play. I play. I play so that I, I, I'm uh, talking about my experience. I first time play this game with when I visit to the Naran Kagan and we are doing the yes. camping. So first time um, the other members tell me about okay, how to play this game and I play and I smartly play. I don't know even if you are asking okay, how many queen in the play and how many is Raja or wo, how many Joker. I don't know. What's, I don't know. what's Raja in English? Uh, joker ma'am joker king king or joker king king sorry king, queen okay. so, yeah. the first one are, is a are, hmm. a then k I mean king then queen and then a uh, joker and then from 9 to uh, 10 no. 9 8 k is not joker no no j, j j is for joker ma'am no. j for joker ma'am j for joker jack jack Then Jack. 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 Sparrow. Okay. Sparrow, I think. Yeah, okay. Sparrow. But Sparrow is the other name of Sparrow. No, but Sparrow is, is such a shape. And no, no ma'am. Actually, Sparrow. it's a it's an icon on that card. Black color card. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. A, a black color card and it's an icon on that card it, it's called it's a look like a sparrow so we used to say it's sparrow so i am talking about the character of johnny Depp, pirates of from pirates of caribbean jack sparrow okay we have wasif here hi wasif how are you assalamu alaikum ma'am how are you wa alaikum assalam i'm good i'm good uh tell us about yourself Sorry, man, I, I can't hear you properly. I said, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? Uh, how are you doing, ma'am? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Pretty good. So talk about yourself. Introduce yourself. Uh, I am Muhammad Wasif from there. I am Muhammad Wasif from Jeddah. Where are you from? Uh, I am Muhammad Wasif from Jeddah and I am from Aptabad. So I am doing okay. BS from the UTP shower. So nowadays in quarantine, I am from Aptabad. You're from my city. I'm from Aptabad too. Uh, 
I think okay. Wasif have some internet problem. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a lot of internet problems, so I can't hear you properly, all of you guys. Okay. That's okay. Are you on Wi-Fi? Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there well, I you go. Got it. Yes, yeah. so you see the Jack, J? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Joker. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, yes, yes, of course. Club. This one is a club. Heart. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what is a sparrow. Ma'am, uh, turn over here. Uh, ma'am. There is spade. Spade. Okay. In, in card. Spade. Ma'am, actually, I think you don't having that card i'm not following it no here spade parts diamonds and clubs these are the real names some people also uh, call third one third one ma'am third one this in first row first row third one first row third one yes this this one this one okay it's either a clover or a club okay Okay, I've seen people say spade to it also, uh, sorry, a sparrow to it also, but it's usually a club or um, a clover. So usually club is the most, I would say, commonly used um, yes. word for this. So more international, I would say. Yes. Okay. And this is a good picture to look at and say, okay, jack of hearts, not joker. So if I write here, joker in playing cards ma'am actually actually there are 54 cards so two of them are jokers these one these are jokers they yeah they are in they are in cards but we usually don't use them if we lost uh, our residual cards for example if i lost the a card or a king from heart so i can use these joker I could substitute this joker on that card. I think you got yeah. my point. You can substitute the joker not on that card for that card. You substitute for, for. that. Okay. Yes. yes. Replace okay. name. Replace would be better word or substitute. Substitute. Because you're substitute. using it in yes, you're using it instead of. So yes. um substitute. Substitute would be better. Yes. Or behalf on it, behalf on it. Uh, uh, on behalf of, you can, but it's better to say instead of or substitute. If you say replace, mm. that means it's gone. That one's gone completely. Mm. Okay. So if mm. you are, um, it's a temporary move. So then it's better to say substitute or instead. So I have my um, two favorite people here, uh, Sayed Shah. And uh, Sean, how are you guys? I'm very good, ma'am. How are you? I don't recognize you, Shadri. You look yeah, very sorry. different. Yeah, I changed my look. You know that Dubai is weather these days, so I have to change my look. So I have to cut my hair so because of the summer, so I want to change myself. Because it was very headache, you know, the due to summer, so I just trim my hair. Sean, how are good. you? Uh, sorry, you are all my favorite. But Sean and uh, Shaji have been with me for like months. So, you know, I they've see. been coming with me. So I don't mean to uh, sound uh, offensive to anybody by saying, oh, these are my favorite only. No, everybody's uh -huh. my favorite. But Sean and Sayedji has been um, with me for a long time. So how is it going, uh, Sean? It's like uh, always uh, before. But uh, I have a complaint with you, ma'am, that... Uh, you are not uh, replying uh, me anymore, uh, neither in comments or uh, nor in any inbox. I send you some messages uh, regarding to your uh, let's uh, have a conversation. Uh, I've been very busy, Sean. 
yeah i know i knew exactly that uh, this is the same sentence you will say <laughs> it's the truth <laughs> You, my my Facebook my Facebook says it all. I'm barely on my Facebook, so you know that I'm not making it up. I'm just like you know so stuck with so much work, and everybody gets busy with life, you know. Because so uh, last time I told you that uh, people get uh, annoying and boring of me very soon, and you behave the same in the comment section. <laughs> anyway. No. Uh, Long time no see. How was you? Long time no see. No, no. Don't please don't take things personal, Sean. If I'm not. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. It's a. It's I I barely you know. respond to anybody. Uh, Shaji also puts a lot of comments on my Facebook. I barely respond, and he knows that. Um. So please don't think that I'm not responding. I, so I don't like you, but it's just I don't respond because I just don't respond. That's how I am. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. I want to say one thing. Yes, Fatma. Uh. I want to leave this program is amazing. I really enjoy and thank you so much. And uh, hopefully, I, uh, next time, inshallah, I will be joined. Uh, I don't know the duration of the your uh, program and when you will be live. I'm just scrolling my Facebook. I saw okay. that you are live, so I just joined your program. Thank you so and much. So please go to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to it and press on the bell icon. And then you have liked the Facebook page for English Show Canada. Also follow it because then it will give you the notifications. Okay. 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 Thank you so There's much. No I really you. like it. Really enjoy uh, this conversation. So all you guys, Allah Hafiz. Take care. Thank Allah. you so much. Allah. Take care. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, ma'am. I oh, have a okay. question. Yes. Ma'am, uh, as Shaji said, you are busy. So, what would be the appropriate word for a busy? I have an idiom that's busy bee, but I think it's not appropriate for any person. If we want to say you look always, but uh, is there any appropriate word for a busy person who always busy in his uh, household chores or other? You can say um, over occupied with other things, or occupied with Ma'am, other words. Obsessed. Obsessed word would be used. You are obsessed no. with your household no, no, chores. No. Or... no. You obsessed can be obsessed something with else. a person. Yes, Shaji, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's something with condition or person or uh, something else. You can say. Even you have you seen uh, a lot of Hollywood movies? They have name on that. Obsessed with something like that. So you can use on on those conditions. I think so. Usually negative. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so occupied say, word would be occupied is good or busy is perfect to you. So if somebody is always on the internet and always on Facebook, always checking Instagram, always checking Snapchat, how many people I have here, how many people I have there, they're too worried about it, then they're obsessed with that platform. Okay. And uh, I think we use obsessed a uh, preposition with. Yes. Yes. Am I right or not? Obsessed That's with, cool. I think. Okay, maybe yes. yeah, there's an other word called accompanied. I think. Accompanied. Accompanied. I think it's in a sense of familiar. Familiar, familiar? to. Familiar accompanied seat. Or. Uh, I'll Google it for you. Okay. Um, there's acquaintance. Uh, acquaintance means John Pechan. Yes, but acquainted also means to be familiar with something. Uh, I think uh, yes, familiar or. Yeah. Actually, so I read. Uh, actually, I read an article. A difference between uh, acquaintance and a uh, true friend. So I remember about this word from that article. So yeah. So if I say I'm pretty acquainted with use of social media, that means that I know it pretty well, but I'm not a hundred percent. Okay. That's okay. So to know yes. something a little bit, so you can use it with a person or with any other activity, right? Yes, uh, says, sorry, ma'am. Here is a lot of net problems. We both have talked to one another. On this live session, you and I also come at the bottom. Okay, yeah. So I kind of like recognize him as well. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so ma'am. Okay. One thing I want to say, my battery also is two percent, so I have to leave. Bye. So Yours battery. Allah is Allah is Allah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Sean, Sayedri, and uh, Omer.
start talking. Sorry. So let me have a long conversation with Sean. Sean, how are you? I am very good, and uh, you look quite different uh, as when told earlier. I don't know what uh, did you do to yourself, and uh, your face, your hair, everything looks very different. No, actually, because of weather, is weather is very hot as Maha knows. Miss Maha is uh, in scaling hot here, and also when I start my work, so uh, I feel yeah, because I used well, to. Yeah, weather can be a cause. Weather can be a cause, but uh, I think you did some work uh, overall to your face, uh, beard, mustache, you and the hair overall. You look I quite different. No. I could uh, never recognize you if Matt uh, told you by name, uh, uh, call you by name. I could never recognize you by your looks because you look totally different now. He is also no, actually, also got a tan. So I think he's been walking in the sun a lot, so he's become a little darker. He's tan. He's he he's got the tan. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's about it's about not uh, not about color. It's about looks. Yeah, I didn't. I still don't recognize him. I see the name, but I don't believe it's him. Really? Same here. Same here. In, in Urdu, we'll say he's a Bharupia right now. Imposter. Yes. No, actually, Miss Maha, what happened? Actually, since the summer start here, I was due to the coronavirus. When I back to the work, I used to hear the hat on my head. So sometimes when I start wearing the hat, I feel so headache on my head. So now when sometimes headache, sometimes you know the like a, I feel you know a lot of stress in my mind. So I have a choose to cut my hairs. Then I feel relaxed more, better to compare the previous year. So and also it's very hot here. You know you can't walk even because of, I used to walk like five to ten minutes and going for the workout as well. So I stopped that one because it was really killing my head. So I remove my hairs and you know I had the beard also before, but nowadays uh, I just maintain the beard because you back to the normal routine. So uh, uh, bosses are coming, you know a lot of operations are coming. So I have to trim my beard like once in a week. So that's why. That's very good. What you do in Dubai? Say some. Uh, brother, I'm working in Dubai, Umair. Yeah, I'm working in yeah. Dubai. There's a there's a coffee shop called Starbucks. So I'm working there for the last couple of years, like five to seven years. Oh, I know Starbucks. Familiar with Starbucks? Yes, brother. And how about you? Uh, I am from Pakistan, and I am doing freelancing after my degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard when you came online, you introduce yourself. You're from Leia, and yeah. you're working freelancer, I think, so in the IT. Yeah. Uh, so uh, right. I am also thinking about uh, this thing. Uh, I wear a cap and this happened to my hairs. It's good, man. Actually, it's good move. You should change your hairs, and you know, like it's kind of in Dubai. Actually, Miss uh, Miss Maha, she spent a lot of time in Dubai. You know, Dubai weather is very hot. It's killing hot. So you know, as much in during the summer, I mean, all the friends they says why you remove your hair, but I prefer to remove. You know, you can't you can't bear the heat. It's it's so killing heat here. Uh, Saji, did you remove your hair? I trim my hairs. Yeah. Is it hair or hairs? Hair. Hairs, I guess. Hair. hair. Okay. So as I'll remove it. If you if you take a bunch of hair in your hand, can you count it? Can't no, we can't count it. So there is no X. Rice. No. Oh, okay. For instance, rice, sugar, salt, pepper. Um, what else is there? Rain, snowfall, raindrops. Well, raindrops is something different, but uh, you say we don't say rain. Well, you'd say rain and rains. Um, but let's say yeah, for rice, money. Also, you don't say money is. You, yeah, it's an uncountable. Yes. So when you say rains, um, in the plural form, that means rain in one place, rain in another place, and rain in another place. That's the rains together, but not exactly. in one particular place. So countable, uncountable nouns. Um, <laughs> so here, definitely, you don't remove it unless it's for girls on your body part. But then from here, you don't remove the hair. Because it's gonna grow again. You trim it or you cut it or you shave it. So either you trim or you cut or you shave. Or shave it. 
I was day off today. I was about to leave to go out when I saw a notification from you. You came online, so I just finished my all the stuff. I said, okay, I should join you. As as much short time, I'll just uh, you know join everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, things are you know constantly changing. Sometimes I have time. Sometimes I don't have time. So whatever time I get, I try to come here. Uh, Sean, what's new at your end? What's happening? Update, please. Nowadays, like everyone, I am busy working because uh, lockdown policy is uh, quite uh, uh, slow. Uh, I mean to say, like uh, equal to no more. So right. that's why I am uh, quite busy working, and uh, most of the time I try to find uh, online uh, pages with uh, English vocabulary because this is the only way I try to increase my. Uh, English knowledge, but uh, you know very well that I am quite uh, uh, crazy about speaking. But unfortunately, I have no platform for speaking. So today I saw your notification, so I just quickly click on it, and that's why I am here. Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you, Omar. What would and you like very, to say? Yes, it's a ahead. very good. It's a very good platform, I think. So we have only issue with the time zone. Is Miss Maha is in Indeed. India? Definitely, you will Indeed. get a lot of students, and you will be always busy. But I have observed from my side. Mashallah, you are very positive. You, and, are, you know, you the right. positive Thank vibes. You. Thank you. Thank exactly. you. Yeah, I, I just hope that I can set one time for everybody and say, okay, this is when I'm going to be, um, you know, available and coming here every day. So before Ramadan, it was really good. But then everything yes. has changed because things have opened up. So I have to go to work now. It's not online. So I'm never home. And the internet in Canada is extremely expensive. It's very expensive. Mm. So I can't be really? outside using, yeah. I remember when I was in Dubai every month, I used to use about 50 GB of data. And I think I used to pay around maybe 300 there, 350 there. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like that. Um, if I need 50 GB over here, number one, it's not available. But number two, if I need 50 GB of data here, I have to spend at least, I would say, four to five hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. How much in Pakistan? Uh, That's thousand there. Get in five dollars. It's too much. It's too much. Pakistan is what, Omer? In Pakistan, we can get to 50 GB in uh, five dollars. Amazing, right? Yeah, and it's a high yeah, speed. Yeah, it's quite cheap in Pakistan. High speed yes. also. Um, Canada's internet quality is like really terrible. Wi-Fi and data both. Right. So mm. For me, I'm also using the data. Hmm. I have mine is like 12 GB and like 900 uh, over uh, around the world minutes. Like I'm paying like 250 in a month. But it's more than enough for me. At home, I have Wi-Fi. At work, I have Wi-Fi. So while I'm traveling, I just use the data. But I think so. It's, you really need a data when you know, like it's, you will, you will, you will be in touch with the people while you are traveling, while you are at home. You know, notification, news, and each and everything. Especially yeah. after the lockdown of the Corona, you have to be something. You know, somehow socialize with the people and you know with the other stuff as well. Yeah, you need to keep in touch. And you know, sometimes I'm outside. I go to Toronto or I'm somewhere else, and I really want to do a live session from there. So it's a different background. But I'm scared because if I do a live session for 30 minutes, my whole uh, data is going to go. And then I'll be stuck without data. And they will charge me like $500. So I try not to go live outside. But if you see my previous videos when I was in Dubai, I was always going live. I had no problems at all because I had 50 GB and I wasn't paying too much. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So I wish I could come back to Pakistan or to Dubai to use the internet. But, you know, that would be very expensive flying back and forth. <laughs> so how's work, ma'am? You back to work fully, properly, or it's uh, limited hours? It's limited, but it's um, it's less of online now. So it's more face-to-face. -face. With SOPs? So. Yes, okay. with SOPs. But we'll... And it's less number of students per class. So instead of having the full class of 25 people, there's only like five, you know, six, whatever. Um, but it's more work now outside than online. Online. So I have a few classes also online that I'm still teaching, but the timings are the same timings. It's it's Saturday over here, so that's why I have the afternoon off. Otherwise, I don't have that time off. So it's yeah, kind I have of seen like 
and like last couple of weeks you was online with i think some of the people you know and now i'm traveling you i get the Nava. notification from your side so Nava. i says miss maha is keep busy keep busy herself <laughs> i try i try so sorry umair you were saying something with nava with nava yes yes that's my friend um she also used to teach at the british council in dubai she's a teacher and now she's become a a, a life coach yeah 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 i was about to ask her that lady i have seen you twice you had a very long conversation with her but she was a motivational speaker something like that or uh, what is that is she's from you know oh, she's a life coach life coach ah, okay yes so a life coach is somebody who basically is not a therapist but somebody who listens to you and then questions you on what you're doing in life so if you really okay. are stuck somewhere and i think everybody needs a life coach um you know you just need to speak to somebody because there's a lot yeah. of things in your subconscious mind that need to come out for you to do better and the way the life coach questions you they kind of basically um open up your subconscious and in, uh, and kind of help you um have your thoughts in the, that are in the back of your mind to come forward and then take the next steps on how you can improve so whether it's your financial condition whether it's your mental condition your spiritual physical emotional money wise whatever it is um they bring those thoughts in front so you can act upon it um more productively in pakistan they announced that uh, they will open in uh, september first of september what are they going to open uh, schools and colleges yeah let's see if they open up yeah, the yeah, 15th september 15th uh, yeah maybe uh, that will be firstly they will open uh, uh, universities and then colleges and if something is happen i think they will uh, again close yeah it's a pakistan, high risk pakistan actually uh, miss maha these days i'm free so i'm watching a lot of national assembly speech sometimes i listen and sometimes i hit my head what's happening in pakistan you know <laughs> who will come you know like something mohammed bin qasim will come and change the nation but you know it's kind of you know like uh, no words about them what they are thinking and what's happening i have no idea about them i don't think mohammed bin qasim can even come and change the nation anymore yes true um, exactly i agree with you uh, what is the name of the the president of south korea north korea i think <laughs> is it still alive uh, Yeah he's alive. It was just rumors about him. Okay. So yeah. th- that type of uh, president we need I think are uh, who is uh, killing the, the corrupt persons and same type of things. <laughs> yeah, you know, poor Imran Khan, I really feel sorry for him because he's one man against how many million millions people millions millions people yes um anyways yeah i hope i hope our country does better and comes out of this and again i think the the, the only way our country can do better if we at the individual level are changing ourselves the way we speak the way we talk the way we communicate the way we deal with people the way we deal with our work you know being honest being loyal um even to our work so for instance if i'm at work and i have break time it's my time so i can do whatever i want exactly But being at work i cannot be doing another work that's cheating exactly so these are very little things that people don't think about you know it's true yeah so snl is here hi sn how are you i'm fine uh, i can't hear you please come closer to the mic Hello, hello, hello. Yes, can I can me? hear you. Hello, hello, but it's very low. It's low. Yes. Uh, let me check. Wait a minute. So you need to come closer. Bring the mic closer to your mouth, please. Is it your okay microphone now? is too far. Bring it closer. Is it? Is your it mic- okay now? Is Where's your okay? microphone? Your microphone uh, is too let, far. Bring it let closer. Me check. Yes, uh, this is my mic. It is it is very close. Yeah, so bring it closer. Yeah. Can you hear me now? It's better. 
Can you hear me? Hello? Better, 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 better. Now? Yeah. Yes. Great. Um, Hi, Javad. How are you? Some te technical difficulties. That's okay. Hi, Javad. How are you? I'm fine. Good. So, uh, I'm fine. where are you tuning in from? Uh, I'm from Hyderabad. I tuned it last week as well, if you remember. So, you look different. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess you don't remember me, but that's okay. So, I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, I'm a student of software engineering. I'm in third year. And uh, my uh, goal uh, right now in life, uh, my passion is to travel. I love traveling. And the goal of uh, me coming here is to improve my English, to gain some confidence in speaking. Great, great. I do remember Very you, good. but I think you've grown a beard. That's why I didn't recognize you that much. Oh, today. Th that's because I'm in quarantine. I, I have currently, I'm Corona positive, so I can't go out. Oh, you're oh. Corona Coronavirus. Sorry to hear that. Well, how, how did you yes. become for, uh, COVID positive? Actually, my parents, are, both of my parents are doctors. So my mother, uh, she goes hospital regularly. So I think uh, on 25th of June, uh, she uh, got symptoms of Corona. Okay. 25th or 23rd, uh, I don't exactly remember, but it's around that time. So she got, uh, she, she started feeling symptoms of Corona. So we isolated her. But what happened was that uh, after two days, we, uh, my father and myself, we both starting, started fe uh, feeling some symptoms as well. Uh, my mother got tested. She came positive. So we kind of knew we also uh, have contracted the virus. So we went for a test as well. Uh, actually, my family consists of uh, me, my mother, my father and a sister. So the, four, uh, the three of us went to test, uh, go test ourselves and my fa father and my, my result came positive. My sister was negative and she's still negative. And it, it has been quite a while. I think I have, uh, uh, I got it 15 or 16 days ago. I tested again, but the result again came positive. Oh, so sad. after, even after 15 days, it is positive. My mother also. She has uh, she has gone through it uh, for a longer period. I think it's her it, it's her nineteenth day, nineteenth or twentieth day. But still, she has it. But my father has recovered. He is negative now. So, so what is the treatment you are having rather than being quarantined? Treatment. Generally, there is no uh, particular medicine for Corona. So what we are doing is relieving the symptoms. Like if uh, if we are feeling uh, pain in our body so we are taking painkillers and like if i have cough right the only symptom that is bothering me is cough and uh -huh. rough throat that that just doesn't seem to go away i don't know why but it is uh, quite bothering me. so i still have have it a little bit like i'm still feeling a little bit rough on my throat and sometimes i cough so for that time, uh, uh, taking cough syrup and improving uh, my cough a little bit by relieving it. So that's how we treat it. The symptoms you are feeling, uh, you try to cure that instead of the, uh, because there is no particular uh, treatment for the virus. So what you can do is just relieve the symptoms, take rest, because uh, taking rest is the most important thing because this is not a joke. Uh, uh, your exactly. body needs to fight it. So you have to give rest to your body so that you can, your body can actually focus on the virus rather than stressing itself out of. So that's what I would advise. Take uh, maximum rest, uh, take medicine according to your symptoms and just improve your immunity, eat fruits, uh, eat healthy stuff. So that's my tip. Okay. And what's your diet like right now, um, these days? Um, what are you having uh, for breakfast, lunch, dinner? Uh, for, for breakfast, I usually make a shake uh, because I 
I am a person who doesn't uh, uh, really feel like eating a lot when I wake up. I don't know why that is, but I just don't like to eat when I wake up. I can eat, uh, but I prefer to eat less. So what I uh, the trick that I have uh, uh, implemented to counter that, so that I can take more calories, is that if you can't eat it, you just drink it. So I make calorie shake like 800 900 calorie shake so that's a lot better to consume so doing that by doing that i can actually eat a lot uh, and also in this uh, virus when you have contracted the virus you will feel like you don't uh, want to eat or you will let uh, you will lose taste of uh, you will uh, lose the sense of taste the sense of smell uh, it depends like i only lost sense of smell i didn't lose uh, my taste and my mother, she had both. She she did she she could taste and smell as well. So it's different for everyone. But uh, the thing, the common thing is that you will lose appetite. So instead of uh, starving yourself, like uh, not eating much, you can drink. So what I did was make calorie shake in the uh, morning, then eat uh, lunch. After that, some light snacks like uh, anything, uh, any fruit or. Uh, you can take anything in between after two to three hour, uh, hours after lunch. So, and in the evening, you can make a protein shake. You can also drink that. After that, uh, eat dinner, and that, uh, and after that, just yes, sleep. So that would be a good uh, type of uh, diet for this virus. Okay, and your your father is is okay now. Alhamdulillah. Yes, she she was the most affected uh, member of our family. Like she she suffered a lot. I, mother I or father? She was mother. Uh, my mother. My mother. My mother actually needed uh, to go. Uh, actually needed admission in hospital, but uh, I uh, she just uh, wouldn't agree on going. I don't know why she just uh, wouldn't uh, leave the house alone. She said, I have to stay with my children. So, but my father, he went to the hospital. He was admitted for two to three days. And they, both of them kind of suffered. But the most, the one who most uh, suffered the most was my mother. And I kind of, uh, yes, didn't really get that much affected. I was just uh, feeling the symptoms, but they were not that bad. Like I had uh, body ache also. I didn't experience that much weakness, but the body pain for me was actually tolerable. I I think I could uh, uh, tolerate much more. So I think that's because I'm young and I have a, a good immune system. I think that's why. So, but my mother just couldn't take the pain and she was just saying that uh, it feels like my whole body is breaking down and she was feeling very weak. So my uh, our doctor, uh, we are in contact with another doctor. Uh, both of my parents are doctor, but it's also always good to have an other opinion. So exactly. He also he also advised her to go to the hospital, get admitted, and uh, so that she could feel better. She could be, get proper treatment, but she refused. So what we did was uh, uh, my uh, uncle is also a, a doctor, so he came home and injected her uh, with an injection so to uh, reveal some uh, weakness and like take care of her uh, and my father he was at the hospital so he couldn't take care of her so it was only me my mother and sister my my sister was trying to stay away because she was negative so she had a risk of uh, getting the virus so Actually, it was just uh, my mother and me interacting, taking care of each other. So that was mostly, uh, for the most part, we were doing that. And our other relatives, they used to uh, give us food, dinner. They, were, they provided us dinner, lunch. They just left it uh, outside on uh, something like on the car or anything. And they informed us that the food is there take it and we would go out and 
take the food and get it in uh, like we were using disposable material they were using uh, disposable material which can which we can throw afterwards after using them so that's also what you can do if uh, if you are corona positive and someone is providing you food tell them to use dis- disposable food rather than okay. actual uh, plates or things that you can't throw so that's also a better tip so how is your mother now so your sister also is in the same house is your sister in the house or she is somewhere else now no she is in a room she is your sister. trying to be is isolated is she still in the same house yes yes she is uh, in the room she is in a room she doesn't uh, usually get out uh, like we just uh, keep distance like if we are out she doesn't come out if she is out we don't come out so that's how we do it best practice and just okay. keep i really hope masks. that everybody gets well in your family yes yes i hope i so. hope i hope you all um get better you are a strong person um you know and your dad's recovered already your mother is on the recovery you are on the recovery inshallah we'll all make dua for you pray for you that inshallah. you recover um and then you come back and tell us your story of the recovery of covid-19 and how you um basically you know uh one against it right inshallah inshallah yes. actually the uh, one thing i will say that uh, that came good out, out of it is that we have, we will now have immunity against it so that's a positive thing if i yes if i be optimistic that's the best thing to come out of it like we now are somewhat out of risk so after all this after we have fully recovered we could continue we can continue our lives better inshallah so much detail about this because we, you know we hear from people um that that's all i can say we can make dua for you and you'll be fine inshallah thank you thank you inshallah uh hi kasim so uh, shaji you asked for kasim kasim is here hi kasim how are you i think so he's is mute mohammed bin kasim is here <laughs> okay. hi kasim hi how are you we good man good how are you hi farhat farhat So Kasim uh Sayyid Kamal Shah was saying that we need Muhammad bin Kasim and then you joined in so I said okay let's let's bring you up. Uh thank you so much. Thank you so much Kamal. Uh, I actually didn't see the link before that I was going through the comments. Tell us about you. Then I saw the uh link you posted along with this post as so then I realized I can join in by joining that link. So I'm a teacher. I teach mathematics. Perfect. And- Tell us about yourself. Yeah, uh, to IGCSE and A levels. Very good. And, um, I've been teaching since last eight years now. Alhamdulillah. So I see you're doing, mashallah, a very great job here. So I just wanted to loop in. Thank you. Ah, uh, which city yeah. are you from, and which country? From Pakistan. Um, basically, I'm a resident of uh, Rawalpindi, but I, I teach in Islamabad. It's just uh, okay. Okay, uh, great. Like Rawalpindi and Islamabad are twin cities, right next to each other. Yeah. Yeah, it's barely like twenty-five minutes away. Yeah. I am not away. good in math. <laughs> yeah, I'm You're not good, good in math, so I'm not going <laughs> to ask any questions. No, I'm uh, terrible in math. It's not my favorite subject, so I'm getting a little, you know, uncomfortable. I'm like, oh my god, I'm math teacher in front of me. <laughs> um, But that's okay. Um, I'm very that's bad okay. at it. I'm very bad in the I'm very bad in the remembering the locations. I always go out with my friends, okay? But if I go the next time they will ask you came before with us, tell us. I say sorry man, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. So, Farhad, tell us about yourself. Hello, am I, am I live? Yes, you are audible. Tell us about yourself. Hello, Fahad. No. Hi, Shah. Akasim, by Hassan Ali, how are you? I think there's something wrong with the Wi-Fi. It's so noisy, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes. From my side, it's okay. Is there a lot of disturbance at your end? Yeah, we feel so Lovely. much, so noisy since, since, uh, since Kasim came. I don't know what he bring with him, windy or what. <laughs> it's raining <Okay>. here, <laughs> but, but that's not the case. <laughs> I'm okay. pretty sure that's not the reason for that. It may be just some connectivity issues, maybe. Okay. But Probably. at my side, everything is fine. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to mute myself and tell me if you still hear that. No, it's I'm going still. to mute Omer. It's still, ma'am. Still. I think you have Shan said. Uh. Hello, how are you? Ma'am, ma let me leave. Ma'am, let me leave the conversation. I'll join you in a moment, ma'am. Maybe, probably from the internet side. I'll rejoin you in a moment. Maybe. Yes, Fahad, can you hear us? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Thank you so much to give me a chance. Uh, my internet is very slow. That's why. Uh, drop a scene. Uh, are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank yes. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. First of all, Maha, uh, I'm your big fan. I'm your diehard fan. Uh, I see all of your live stream. Everyone, uh, every stream. I'm your diehard fan. First chance, I will talk. Thank you so much. To give me a chance i am professionally i am You're a graphic welcome. designer professionally i am a graphic designer a uh, few months ago i have a scene and you hi asan ali how are you ah, i couldn't listen to you what did you say a few months ago what did you do Can you hear me, Farhad? Farhad, sorry, sorry, Farhad. No. Okay, Farhad. I will. Have to I will. Your I will back. Uh, again. Just a few minutes. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna remove him. Um, he's trying his hard to be in this live stream. Hopefully, he can fix his uh camera. Uh, Farhad, I would suggest if you log out of Streamyard and restart your phone or your laptop, whatever you're using, then come back. It'll be okay. Essen, you're okay? Yes, drink some water. I Maybe drink, drink some water. I drink it uh, two seconds. Oh. I'm worried about you. Okay. All right, Kasim, I'm going to come to you now because we're both teachers and obviously we've been doing, um, are you doing also online sessions with your school? Yes, nowadays that's what's going on. We're teaching online. Okay. How is your experience yeah. with the online teaching? Well, in the beginning, um, well, before the lockdown here in Pakistan, I saw it coming before time. So I bought a few gadgets because uh, specifically talking about my subject in math, uh, it's really hard to teach through uh, PowerPoint presentations. Maybe it gets easier if you have a pre-planned, uh, already made PowerPoint presentation. So I 
like to keep things simple from my students because math is scary subject for most of us students. <laughs> so in order to do that, I bought two gadgets. In the beginning, students and even uh, the teachers, I'll include myself into it as well. Uh, we had a little bit of like we had a bit of a tough time in getting used to with the, all these technology. Now, alhamdulillah, everything is streamlined, smooth. We're doing very fine now. And I'm afraid we are getting habitual at this. <laughs> yeah, it's quite comfortable staying at home and just logging in, teaching them and just logging off, right? So yeah. the stress of commuting, the stress of um, lesson planning the way you, we used to do, it's um, it's much different. Exactly, exactly. It's, uh, it's There's a lot of difference in online teaching. A uh, few parents and a few teachers, like we were talking in our community, they were complaining that the struggling students, they, uh, they are basically kind of left out um, in this online teaching phenomenon. Because uh, struggling students inside school, uh, even inside school, they have this kind of attitude, layback attitude, I would say. So we have to push them. We cannot do, give that push while teaching online. Until unless we have the parents continuously in touch with us and we keep telling them, keep following up. But that kind of gets impossible to keep in touch with all the parents and it's really hard. Those brighter students, like brighter side of the class, like those students who are like top notch, they, they were performing well in the class and they are, I would say this online teaching turned out like uh, well, excellent for them because now it totally focuses on them somehow the system is like this they they are getting the maximum attention because they are the one who are participating and uh, we don't have to tell them we don't have to call their names over and over again like uh, i would say naughty students or <laughs> below average students they can get away by using this excuse of uh, low internet connectivity or this kind of thing so well, we can't do anything about it. <laughs> You're right. So, um, what other um, what online systems are you using? You're probably using Zoom to um, give out the classes. Is that how it is? Initially, uh, initially I was using Zoom, and every different teacher were using different strategies. But later on, our school they gave one platform for the entire school. Because on Zoom, it was re it was really nice, easy, and smooth for all the students. But there was one drawback of that: there was no record, there was no uh, place of giving assignments, and then keeping the record of that. Now uh, we are using Google Classrooms. That makes uh, that ha by using uh, Google Classroom, there is one positive side: we have all the records maintained over there. We don't have to make the records separately. We don't have to take the attendance separately. So that's really easy over the Google Classroom. Some of the institutions, they are using uh, Microsoft Teams and Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, they're more or less the same. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. What, what, yeah. uh, what, uh, what medium are you using over there? We use uh, Zoom primarily. Um, for some places, um, we also use your, um, what do you call it, Schoology. Have you heard of Schoology? Schoology, yeah. Yeah, no, we're no, using that. Really yeah, that's, I like Schoology better than Google Classroom. I don't like the way Google Classroom looks. So I like Schoology is because it's, it, it has a very professional mm -hmm. look to it and you can add and remove a lot of things. I think Google Classroom is more like the Facebook mm -hmm. look. So not very professional. So Facebook versus LinkedIn, it's like Google yeah. Classroom versus Schoology. Um, you can do your attendance and you have a great oh, book yeah. and everything you can upload. Um, it's, it's very convenient to use. So one place that I'm working mm -hmm. at, they use Schoology, the other one uses uh, Google Classroom. That's great. Can I see in yeah. some using a Skype? Yes, so Skype and Zoom are for video interface and Schoology and Google Classrooms are mainly for uploading assignments or giving them homework, putting up your PowerPoints. So the material basically goes up on Google Classroom mm -hmm. or your Microsoft um, or your uh, Schoology or any other platform. But videos are done usually through um, Zoom or Skype. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Zoom is a little bit more secure and you can have more people come into it. So you can have I don't, I, about 200, I think, I believe, up to yeah. 200 people yeah, can 200. join in that. And it's pretty yes. convenient as well. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back and and you'll have Omer, Sean, Essen and Kasim. I would like you to just general chit chat, make sure that everybody gets enough time to speak and um, also interact with each other. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and for the next five minutes. Okay, Kasim, what do you like uh, more than maths? Yes. What I like most in math, it's uh, basically a language of life. If you look deeper in math, algebra, geometry, like everything, if you look into it, like it's, uh, I guess, really, um, you can say, another way of looking into life. It's a language, basically. If you, I guess if you I talk about a higher level, it's a language. Yeah. I'm also in love with the maths. But unfortunately, I did not continue with math. But uh, I math looks very, very easy to me, and it's solving because every step has the solution. Because if the previous step and the next step we if we match that, so we will get that we are going in a good direction or bad direction. I always tell my students to take math as a video game because the students mostly play video game. So I was I always try to relate math with the video game. The way we have instructions in the video game, for example, if you're playing, if you started a game for the very first time at the level one or a stage one, you are given instructions for the little movements you make. And when you're on the stage two, you you will not be given those instructions over and over again that how to jump or how to crawl or how to move forward or backward. You will be given instruct the next stages. So this is how. Uh, I take math and this is how I tell my students they can relate math. So I tell them math, I break the steps, I break the entire methodology into small chunks and feed them step by step, slowly, slowly. Once they are good with one step, then we move on to the next one. So this is how I move along. Yes, this is the right so way. That way. Yeah, this way it makes it really easy for the students. And for me as well to know if the students are actually getting it or not. So, what do you do, by the way? I am doing the freelancing, uh, like now I do uh, I did masters in the IT, information technology. Oh, that's great! That's great. That is really great. But in Pakistan and India, this uh, technology, the IT people, the software developers, they are, I think, the what, what should I? I think the pioneers in many areas of the software development. Uh, yeah, but uh, I did not get yeah. the software. But uh, yes, software development is a great thing. Just like we, if we invent the steam yard, so many of people will use that, and so that will be for there for a long time, and we oh, can be benefited. So. Uh, that's great. That's great. Uh, Sean Hamdon, uh, may I know about you? Yeah, exactly, brother. And I'm very uh, happy to know that you are the second teacher of, uh, over this platform. What do you do other than teaching? Well, uh, earlier, I would say if I go back six, seven years back, uh, other than teaching, I had singing as my one of my really? hobbies and playing different games yeah so are but you now, a, are you a crowd singer or a bathroom singer <laughs> you can say I'm more of a bathroom singer <laughs> but and now if i talk about now i'm so much indulgent to a practical life i barely get time to scratch my head so i'm not into any of the right and left things i'm just totally teaching and teaching that's it because teaching is uh if Although in Pakistan, mostly schools, they operate from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. But teaching is actually a full-time job. Even if your school like finishes at 2 p.m., if you do the proper work, you do the planning, if you think about individual students, if you talk about the f giving feedbacks to individual students, then this is a full-time job, I think, 
is from nine to five job or eight to five job. It's not less than that. So now I'm too much into it. So what do you so do, Shah? It's, it's mean you have left singing. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you now. Yes, Shan, what do you do? I was just asking that, uh, uh, I want to know, did you leave singing, you mean to say? No, maybe as a part of my... Actually, uh, my actually hobby, teach, teaching is not my hobby, uh, neither my <laughs> priority. That's why yeah, I'm asking yeah. about singing. Well, you, you, are you asking that uh, if you compare teaching and singing, what is my priority? No, 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 no. I just want to say yeah. that teaching is yeah. not my hobby, neither my priority. That's why I'm asking about only singing. <laughs> singing, uh, well, uh, I got into singing because of math as well, because uh, when I realized <laughs> that singing, in, in the singing, in, in the music, if you talk your, about the beat, your, your, if you talk about the note, your that everything starts math. from math and ends from math. <laughs> but as I said earlier, it's the language of life and <laughs> one way of looking into it. Yes. I think singing and math can relate. Uh, yeah. people, and uh, uh, and the... then I would like to say a few things uh, about the you know, current situation uh, regarding the situation in which you and your family are right now. I have been in this situation right after Eid, I, I would say, I think it's um, more than a month now. On the second day of Eid, my half of the family, they got po COVID positive. And uh, the precautions I took, definitely you're already taking precautions, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, and you're recovering. And the good thing is like you are engaging yourself in these kind of activities, thanks to Maha Tathabi and people like her. Like, again, a very positive side now. Now, uh, as in, if you, um, and definitely uh, every other people, every, every second person would be giving you suggestions, but I am giving you a suggestion, or you can say a comment on the basis that I have been through this entire thing. And my situation got prolonged up to 24 days, somehow, more or less 24 days. Uh, the worst condition was of my granddad. He is around 85 years old and how like almost the doctors they gave up on him and uh, we also gave up because he went to the brim like he was right at the brim alhamdulillah he recovered now the main precautions we took was the isolation to take care of each other and uh, the best thing is be motivated the way you are and keep your family motivated as well definitely you will you all will recover inshallah your immune is going to get even stronger if you have a positive energy inside you. That's how you're going to get recovered like in a very quick time. Maha, over to you. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. I think I'll leave, uh, I'll, I'll leave you guys now. So, it thank was you very so much, nice uh, here. For Inshallah, in. sometime I'll try it again. Thank you. Um, it was you, my you pleasure. Brought Yes, you have thrown a lot of important, I would say, words, vocabulary, idioms. Um, so I would suggest everybody who's watching this, um, please rewatch this video again because you've been introduced to a lot of new things by Kasim. Kasim, thank you so much for a great um, input from your side. And you know, by just looking at Kasim and looking at Essen Ali and listening to the whole story of Essen and how things are going on, I'm just thinking, can I invite you both? you know, on separate days, just to talk about your experience with Corona. So maybe just have an interview on my personal profile page where um, I have I have about six, seven friends living in Pakistan who've gone through this, but they're not the type of people who would come online and speak about it. Sure, anytime. But, you know, it would be nice to talk about it, um, the precautions you took, you know, how did you feel? Um, what were the factors involved in you basically um, getting affected with Corona and the whole process and the procedure. It would be nice to do probably, you know, a session individually with uh, with both of you. Um, we can decide on um, on a date. 
and then the timings and everything and i can just put it up on my facebook and then let's let's you know create awareness tell the people what um can be done we hear about people dying all the time but there's tons of uh success stories too there's a lot of recoveries that are happening but nobody's exactly. talking about them and that is scaring everybody yeah. so i would love to um, do that yes love to do i'm going to message yeah. you both if, uh this is how i can being a part of the positive side i'm always in that would be great i would really appreciate that so if you can both uh, send me a Thank message you. private in the inbox then we'll respond and we'll come up with a time sometime this week and um take it from there okay thank you okay everybody i would leave now take care it was very nice thank you very much it was very nice talking to you and you really have been mumbled been cussing for all of us <laughs> thank you allah hafiz and if anybody Allah. needs a maths tutor then please get in touch with him i'm sure he would be available um why not and guys i've been here for two hours i think i have kind of compensated for my you know disappearance on the internet for some time so thank you so much for sticking around for so long. Um, I think there was a lot of important discussions we had today. You know, a lot of people coming in and out. Um, so yeah, again, thank you so much for um, being a part of this live show, um, being a part of live conversation with Maha. And it's you guys who make me want to keep coming back and, you know, giving you the little tips and tricks and of course, it's you who want to get better. And then I'm happy to be providing you with this platform. So thank you. Thank Anything you would like to say before you go? Thank you too. Thank you too for inviting us uh, over this platform and uh, giving us chance for speaking uh, in English for ourselves. And uh, uh, this is all I want to say because uh, you know very well my, my vocabulary always become less when i try to speak your vocabulary is fine sean you know that it's perfectly fine thank you Mary, uh, for your concern thank you for your concern. thank you omar would you like to say thank something you. Uh, sean did not introduce uh, to me yet sean did not introduce to her. oh yes, sean sir. please introduce yes yourself. yes yes yes, yes. You, Actually, you for me Actually, I am I am an old student. Uh, I used to come uh, before uh, Ramadan over here and uh, try uh, always try to speak. And uh, um, Miss Maha uh, gave me uh, so much and lot of confidence. Uh, and uh, I still remember my first time when I came here. Uh, I was speaking like a little kid uh, who uh, cannot speak proper words. But still, I I think that I'm still quite weak, and I Shana, need more. Yeah, I yeah. Want please. Your introduction and that experience. So oh. say. Actually, uh, brother, uh, actually I'm a graphic designer, but nowadays, uh, after lockdown, I have lost all my contacts uh, regarding to my work, and uh, that's why I am trying to learn. Uh, Freelancing world on Fiverr. Uh, freelancing work on Fiverr. But uh, uh, I was uh, searching a uh, student, uh, say uh, Miss Maha uh, Arsalan, but I could not find him because he was uh, telling me that he will teach me some tips and tricks on Fiverr. And uh, you he can uh, watch Sir Hisham. Yes, I'm sorry. What you you can watch Sir Hisham and uh, Sir uh, Avran Aldina sir. Uh, brother, actually, I am very bad uh, at learning online. Uh, I want something face to face. I want someone face to face to teach me. Uh, online learning uh, something is very difficult for me because you know you cannot ask anything from your teacher because it it is a, always a live uh, recorded session. So and uh, whenever I try to comment and I ask something. Uh, Nobody replies in the comment, you know, because everyone is very busy in his channel no. and regarding his work. So no, that's why. Can, yeah, yeah, please. If you can learn English from Miss Membaha, and then you can also learn from Sir Shama, because there is a sport in the group 
Sarah Shams group, uh, you can get many of uh, answers from the students. They are also they are helping others. Oh, my brother, actually, sorry, actually, English is the thing which I have been trying to learn uh, since my childhood, but still, I have no good catching practice. Uh, it's a very lot of noise coming from somewhere I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Uh, as uh, may Allah give you strength, more strength, and you will fight against this uh, disease, COVID. May Allah bring your family health, health healthy. Yeah, yes, sir, my brother, best wishes from my side, uh, and I'm sure you will get over it because uh, you are still so young, and I'm sure your immune system will help you to fight from yes. this uh, against uh, this uh, co uh, COVID. Uh, disease yes sir, COVID. so i will pray for you especially because uh, you are just like my uh, younger brother and i hope your mother and uh, father uh, but all your family may get well soon thank you thank you very kind you are you are, you are you are welcome, my brother. My battery, my Anything you want to add, I said. What? Anything you want to add, I said. Uh, I'll just say that uh, thank you to Ma'am Maha for giving the, uh, for giving us such a wonderful platform where we can chit chat and honestly, I think. Uh, this is the best way to improve English. I I was uh, kind of hoping for a platform like this, and after I found a YouTube channel, now I've got uh, a platform where I can express myself and just improve by talking because this is a much more interesting way. Other ways are a little bit boring, but this is a very interesting way. You meet new people, you uh, talk on different topics, so it is quite engaging and. Uh, it is a very effective way for improving English. So that's all I would say. Great. Sorry, I got a couple of phone calls, so I really have to go now. But again, thank you so much for being here, and hopefully, I'll see you again the next time I tune in. Thank you. Then thank before you, you before you leave, can I ask you something? When do you will come uh, online next? Because, uh, you know, after very long days, I have lost my practice over English. I will try to come as soon as possible. Probably sometime tomorrow or later today. I have no idea, son. I wish one, I more, could come. one more yeah. thing I want to ask. Last time I sent you a link of my drama and I wanted to know your uh, compliments or uh, sorry, comments over there. I think you, I think you, you did not... a pretty good job. I think you did a pretty good job. It was very well done. So did you really watch it or you are just saying for to finish it? I usually don't lie. Okay, so okay. it was very good. Yes, it thank was you, good. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, all thank you, all you guys. Bye for now. Bye.